Hi, it's Dave Verman Astro. Hopefully you can hear me. It's a little noisy. I'm in my Toyota Hi-Ace van. And yes, it's right-handed drive. Imported from Japan. And I'm on my way to Alpha Scorpio. I'm going to meet up with Jason of AZ Forerunner channel and Isaac of Iceman Astro channel and I guess there's probably going to be about five more of us. I know that one guy's driving in all the way from San Diego and some other folks are driving in from Tucson and of course I'm driving in from Phoenix. It's about a three to four hour drive for me. Yeah. I left about three hours ago and I'm still about 20 miles out from where we're going to be meeting up at. But that's cool. Yuma is 66 miles away, San Diego is 242 miles away. And we're in the high Sonora Desert. And it's pretty toasty warm out. And I'm looking forward to meeting all these other uh, folks. Well, I'm finally here at Alpha Scorpio. There's, uh, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us here. Of course, there is um, Isaac from Iceman Astro, and there is Jason from AZ Forerunner, and there's a Jerry from San Diego, and we got two Michaels, uh, one is from North Phoenix and the other one lives out at Apache Junction which is just to the east of uh, Phoenix and then we got Bob who's also in North Phoenix and yeah so we're all kind of spread out here let me kind of show you the site so that's Jerry and Michael over here and then that's Isaac over here and then this is where Jason's set up and then um, another Michael is just on the other side of him and Bob is set up way over here and then this Michael right here get you dizzy here is set up right over there and we got about an hour before sunset so I'm going to walk around and check other people's rigs and see what people have. I have my typical setup. Of course, I've got my EQ6R Pro with my AstroTech uh, AT80 EDT. And I've got my 2600mm Pro on the back. And I'll hopefully if the clouds clear up as you can see it's pretty cloudy out right now but the clouds are supposed to clear up by about midnight which is about when Ro Ofuki is going to rise and that's what this guy here is going to be photographing hopefully is I'll collect some more data on Ro tonight and then over here I've got my G11 with my RC6 again shooting with the 071 and if we get clear skies anytime tonight uh, the thought was that I would try to uh, shoot the needle galaxy but I don't know if we're going to get enough light to make that worthwhile so we shall see so there is Michael's setup Michael um, has a YouTube channel which I'll put the link up to 
here. I think it's Knights, Night Speeds with a Z, I believe it is. But anyways, he's mostly got Star Trackers and that's what he's using. And uh, he's using uh, modified DLSRs. So we got a Sigma mirror lens here and it's on the iOptron's uh, Star Trucker. And then we just got uh, Canon uh, Rebel XSI with a 17 to 85 millimeter lens. And then over here, we have another old Canon. This is the Rebel XS. This has, looks like the stock, yeah, 18 to 55 millimeter stock lens that comes, that came with that camera way back in the day. So again, if the skies clear up, uh, this is what he's going to be shooting with. He also has a cell phone camera. And the cell phone camera holder looks like it's from Niwer. And yeah, so he's mostly doing wide field and using um, stock DLSRs and stuff of that note. Then this is Isaac of Iceman Astro. This is his setup. He has a iOptron Star Tracker here which I believe he wants to run his, oh no, he's got it down over there. I'm not sure what he's gonna run on that. Uh, he's having issues with um, an adapter which will fit into the shoe there. Over here, he's got his iOptron SEM 25P and he's got his Space Cat on there. And I believe he's running his 6200mm <laughs> Pro, yep. 6200mm Pro, nice little setup there. And then over here, he also has another iOptron. This is the 726, and he has his Roki on here, the 135. And I think this is gonna be first light for it. I have a Roki too, but I haven't had first light on it just yet. But I'll be getting there, and he's running the 2600MC Pro. And he has a filter wheel on this as well. So that's what Isaac of Iceman Astro has got set up. And this is Jerry's setup. He has an Edge HD 9.25. Uh, and he has, uh, he, it's covered right now, so I'm not going to touch his stuff. But he has, I believe it's a 294 with Hyperstar on the front. I think it's Hyperstar 4. And he's got a mini PC on there and he's got network connectivity and he's running this thing on a CGX. My first time ever seeing a CGX, so this is kind of new and novel. And my first time, to be honest with you, seeing um, Edge HD 9.5 or 9.25, sorry. So that's what Jerry's running tonight. So, we got a nice uh, stick around here, space alien. <laughs> it's awesome. Futurama. So, uh, and it, that's riding on the AM5, you guys, and uh, with the little extension here, which is awesome. Um, and he's got the 294 uh, code. And I'm letting Isaac go ahead and describe like, me it. Me too. Cool. So I just need uh, Jerry's stuff. Jerry. Mike, impressive rig, man. Thanks. Very impressive. Gorgeous rig. Yeah, well, you know, we'll just go ahead and we'll just do a, a cloud dance or something. Yeah, no. Yeah. Is that the baddest? Yeah, uh, 85. 85, okay. Yeah, and you've got a Sony. What uh, Sony you got there? A, the R2. Okay, it's the R2. Okay. So full frame, 42 meg. Yeah, I, I got the R3. And you got the battery. Yep, okay. You got the battery power. Yep. 
good I'll deal. Good buy. Yeah. How do you like that bass? That's really good. Is it good? Nice and sharp. Oh yeah, very sharp. Eighty-five, huh? Yeah. Yeah, it's a one point eight. One point eight. Do you shoot it at one point? I mean, you, do you shoot it at one point eight, or do you stop it down? I stopped it down because of the light pollution. What do you stop it down to? About uh, three. Three. Yeah, three. Okay. Because uh, neighbors' lights, it just soaks in light way too fast, and then the yeah. glow comes right in quick. Yeah, I find that in my light polluted skies. I mean, I have my one shot color camera and. If I do more than 60 seconds, it just blows them out. It just, I get a white sky. <laughs> white sky. <laughs> How do you like this? Well, I'm still uh, getting used to it. Um, I'm getting, uh, at home, uh, I have a pier and a Paramount ME. Okay. And I don't guide at all with it. You don't need to so with a Paramount nice ME. Yeah. I mean, guiding is so old fashioned, you know? Yeah. Uh, but this, you clearly have to guide. And um, with the encoders, uh, they help reduce the large periodic error in right ascension. And um, so I'm guiding around three second exposures. The It's a hybrid mount, so the the deck axis is um, just a belt drive. Yeah, the you know, like yeah. that also. and so it has to be balanced. The deck axis needs to be balanced. And uh, I'm getting uh, somewhere between 0.5 and 0.8 arc seconds total RMS over a long period. So for a wide field system like this, it's it seems to be adequate. And it's really nice being able to carry something as light as this out and set it up and at a dark site like this. And How do you like the carbon fiber? Tripod? Yeah. Yeah, it uh, seems to be really, really solid. It's exactly the same as mine. Is it? Yeah. 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 I have that one at home. I, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah they, they look exactly the same, padding everything. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'm uh, pretty pleased with it so far. It's um, those, um, the focuser you, you like. Yeah, the uh, I don't know how I ended up with the Prima Lucy Lab focuser, but uh, I've not had any trouble with it, and uh, it does a really good job. And so very impressive with a 6200 mm right yeah and this right here okay so that's not normally on this rig this is something called an octopi i think i've heard of that. um and i've really got it because i have another telescope uh i have another takahashi an epsilon 160 which i bought new last summer and um it has a fixed back focal distance of you know 56 millimeters and so this allows you to have only three millimeters of, uh, you know, distance in your focal train. And it allows you to adjust Z, the distance, as well as tip and tilt. Okay. And uh, so now on this telescope, um, it's not so critical because um, it's F5. The 160 is F3.3. Um, oh, I wonder what that buzzing was. It's a drone. <laughs> drone. Yeah, yeah. The drone. Anyway, yeah. Um, but I um, I took this off the 160 and put it on here, and I didn't change it out. I have uh, Gerd Newman's uh, camera tilter. Okay. Which I, I really like a lot. It's uh, uh, sort of kinematic, and it and it fits right in the optical train, but it it. It's too much optical thickness for the 160. So I'm going to try this on the, well, I have tried this on the 160. Opportunities to get out to dark places. Yep, it's very nice. <coughs> That's why and I switched to the AM5. Yeah, so much just easier. so much easier. Yeah. 
like my rig set up like this, I pick it up, bring yeah. it in the house, and then when I want to go out, you pick it up and set it. Yeah, that's it. That's what I, I carry this whole thing in and out as well. Yeah, it's nice. So, that's nice. So this is Jason's rig. He's running the Cirrus EQG. He's running the Pick 71, GT 71, Grand Turismo. And the Orion version of the 2600 camera. It's the G26 APS-C. Yeah. Nice little setup. What are you going to shoot tonight, Jason? Shoot the iris. The iris. Yeah, should be able to be pretty wide. I want to get all that, all that dust. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how things go. I mean, it's, see, we've been out here before, and it's been like this. And then as soon as it gets dark, it just goes. It clears away. And it just disappears. Just yeah, like according to uh, Claire outside, it's supposed to clear up at about midnight. Yeah, that's right. Which is fine because Ro Ofuki rises at about midnight, so. Yeah, and I'll, I'll probably wait until, well, I could probably shoot it as early as like 10.45 or so, maybe 11 o'clock when it gets like up to like 15 degrees. Right. I'll shoot at 15 degrees, I don't care. And then I won't have to do a meridian flip. No, it's no. just stay over here. I'll just stay right over there the whole entire time. So I'll be good. Yeah. All right. Beautiful sunset. So it's dusk here at Alpha Scorpii. And walking over towards the group over here, we're actually cooking some supper. Uh, sorry for the shakiness, but I'm walking with my camera. And that's what happens. And we're also doing a live stream at the same time on AZ4 Runner's channel. He has a live stream set up. Oh, what's up, Rob? I'm watching on 5G. I think it's 2-bit right now. Oh, wow, we're not even 8-bit, we're 2-bit right now. Yeah, well, we've only got two bars, 4G, so. We are playing Mario, 8-bit brother, yep. <laughs> Logan says just catch up on my hot dog, please, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> Logan said just catch up on my hot dog, please. You want us to air overnight that down to you there in New Zealand or Australia? Yeah, okay. Might be a little ratty by the time it got to <coughs> Yeah. Logan, it's a... Uh, it's a hot dog, man. It's got nitrates. What is it? Yeah, it's like, uh, like winter over there, right? Sorry, yeah, they're the opposite wind? us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. Yeah, you see Jason right there. He's, uh, he's cooking. And a chef. Yeah, we, we need a, we yeah need it's grade A good too. I can smell it very well. We need to give him an apron. <laughs> called a stellar chef. <laughs> a stellar chef, yes. When you can't astro, you grill. Yes. So this is what you call a cloud party? Yeah, yeah all right. Party. <laughs> a cloud party. We don't have a star party going on. We have a cloud party going on. Okay, well, it's gotten dark enough that... Uh, it's about 10 o'clock, actually it's about quarter past 10, and it's fairly dark out. Um, the clouds have pretty much dissipated. There's still some high level clouds up in the atmosphere. Uh, right now I am, I am actually setting up, uh, photographing, um, what am I going to be photographing here? Uh, NGC 4565, which is the Needle Galaxy. And as you can see here, let me go ahead and turn you around. I don't know if you can even see that. It's probably too overexposed, but there's the needle. I'm trying to figure out what the orientation of my camera is. Okay, well that will work. I like the other orientation better, but that one works just fine. Go ahead and set up um, sequence here. I'm going to add this to my one shot color sequence. So now I can go into sequencer. Okay, there we are. 
NGC 4565. Well, it's the following morning and it is sunrise and we are all packing up to leave. Go home and process images and see what it is that I got. The needle galaxy looked pretty cool. I don't know if I got anything out of Ro Ophiuchi. There were clouds in the uh, distance and I just don't know if really I got much of anything. but. I will see but for right now I'm packing up in fact I'm a little bit behind here from where everybody else is at so I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and I just like to do a shout out to Jason of AZ Forerunner and Isaac of Iceman Astro and until next time clear skies and happy guiding